Here we go. Officially the top two teams in world football. We can say that now, but only one will wear the crown. It's the World Cup final coming up live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina up against Portugal. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. And the game begins. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Angel Di Maria starts alongside Rodrigo De Paul in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And in attack today, Cristiano Ronaldo plays alongside Rafael Leal. taken short and Cristiano Ronaldo waiting oh the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one so this is it for Argentina World Cup winners in 1978 and 1986 runners up in 1930 1990 and eight years ago in 2014 are they going to do it here in 2022 what a big night for them well, it's a massive night. And when you talk about World Cup finals, I always go back to 1978 as a great occasion. Oh, hang Tickets. on, Stuart. Look at this. Still alive. And it's in. We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to savour. Well, here it is again. And just look how he sets himself ready to hit this. He judges the flight of the ball perfectly. And what a sweet connection. That's a brilliant goal. Portugal gets the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Marcos Acuna. Cross could be useful. Di Maria. Can he make it count? Well, a struggle to get it away properly. And I think the threat has been averted. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Leal. Ronaldo! Well, no mistake from the keeper, acting decisively. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And Lionel Messi does the rest. He strikes it so clearly. He hits it with power and accuracy. There's no stopping that one. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Rafael Leao. Here's Ronaldo. Just the challenge that was required. 
Well, Argentina are enjoying most of the possession and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Really getting stuck in. And they need to get tighter. Fernandes. Can he finish? And saved by the keeper. Good refereeing, waiting for a natural pause before booking him. Playing it in. That is that for the first half here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Well, a good tackle and the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Getting forward. And Rafael Guerrero has lost the ball. Alvarez. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bruno Fernandes. They went to Rome on the wing, but they dealt with the threat posed. Well, the keeper asking too much of his teammates on this occasion. Throw in to come. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Couldn't keep it. Intense pressure. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. He's in here. And the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. to the final 20 minutes plenty of forward momentum here but can they produce a disappointing end to the move he's going forward well here and Messi another goal and surely there's no way they can throw this away absolutely dominant Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And what an emphatic strike it is from Lionel Messi. Hit with his laces, it's a great goal. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Joao Felix. The ball with Ottavio. Lionel Messi. Oh, he's got past his man. Will it be? Full credit. Wonderful stop. 
Bruno Fernandes. And so into the final five minutes. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Oh, magnificent reaction. Can he put it away? And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save and then the recovery. Messi. And there goes the final whistle. For the third time in history, Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that. Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career. And what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.